This is video 11.2. We will be solving a problem using Archimedes' principle. The question. Suppose you want to use a helium balloon to lift a 200 gram weight at standard temperature and pressure. What is the minimum volume of the balloon that will allow you to do this? And here we're going to assume that the balloon that is the rubber in the balloon and the strings weigh 5 grams so that the total weight that the helium has to lift is 205 grams. We start off with problem solving. Here we'll use Archimedes principle which states that the buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. Archimedes principle is what you'll use to solve almost any problem involving buoyancy. A step two is to look up the densities of helium and air. At standard temperature and pressure, they are as follows. The actual values are not so important, but it is important to recognize that the density of air is significantly larger than the density of helium, which explains why helium balloons float. Next, we'll calculate the gravitational force downward on the whole system. As stated, the mass of the weight and the other things like the rubber and the balloon and the strings is 205 grams or 0 0.205 kilograms. But we have to also take into account the mass of the helium, which is equal to the volume which we're looking for times the density of helium. The total gravitational force is equal to the total mass times g, which has this form. We can't get a numerical result at this point because we haven't yet solved for v. Next we want to calculate the buoyant force in terms of the volume of the balloon. As stated by Archimedes principle, this is the weight of the fluid displaced, in this case air. In terms of the volume, this is the density of air times the volume times g. And we can plug in what we know to get this expression. Next we want to find the volume. The necessary volume of the helium balloon is that will give rise to a buoyant force that exactly cancels out the gravitational force. In this case the ball or the balloon weight system could be said to be in equilibrium. And any larger buoyant force will allow the balloon and the weight to keep rising. So we're going to set the buoyant force equal to the gravitational force, which implies this expression if we take the form for the buoyant force and the gravitational force that we just found. Now we need to solve for v, so we're going to group all the terms with a v in them together. We do this by subtracting the term from both sides that has a v. And this implies this expression, where we have all the v's together on the left hand side. Now we can divide both sides by the term on the left that is multiplied by the v, and we get this expression. And on the right hand side we only have numbers, so we can plug it into our calculator, and we get a volume of 0.185 meters cubed. And that's the volume of the balloon necessary in order to lift the balloon and the weight together. And that concludes video 11.2. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.